In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a simple arcade button. Let's create a component. We'll call this the bezel. So we'll create a sketch and we'll create this sketch on the front plane. And we'll draw a two point rectangle. It'll be 32.3 wide and three millimeters tall. Then we can use the coincident constraint and we can click the origin, hold shift, and then click the midpoint of the bottom of the rectangle. Then it's centered. We'll go ahead and draw a line up from the midpoint to the top. Select this line, make it a construction line. Then we're going to create a conic curve. So we'll select conic curve. We'll click on this point and this point, and then bring it out. You can leave the row value at 0.75. We want to make both of these tangent. So we'll click here, and then we'll also click here. And then we need to dimension the endpoints. So we'll click on this point and this point and make it 0.5. Then we'll click on this point and this point and we'll make it three. Then we can make a revolve. So let's finish our sketch. We'll click this profile and the axis will select the center axis. So now we have the nice center part of our button. We'll say, okay. Then we're going to go ahead and create an extrusion. We'll create this center section and we'll extrude down negative three. And we're gonna go ahead and cut. We also want to put a fillet on this edge, so we'll click fillet, and make sure you click G2 curvature, and then we'll make it maybe 0.5, or 0.3 will look better. Great, 0.3. So now we have a nice fillet there. Next, we're going to go ahead and activate the top level component, create a new component and we'll call this button. Then we need to create a sketch. So we'll create a sketch on the front plane and we need to project in some pieces. So we'll press P and we definitely want to get this inside ring because we need to know where that is to draw our button. And then we can go back at looking at the front plane and sometimes this body's in the way so you can just hide it. Next, we need to draw a rectangle. So from here, to here, and then we'll make sure that this is coincident. And this distance will be 3.5. We can also draw a line here in the center because we'll use a revolve. And then we want to have some sort of tolerance in between the button. So we'll draw a line here, and then we'll dimension this approximately 0.1. So that'll give us 0.1 millimeters in between the button and the bezel so that it has space to go up and down, and you can change this with a user parameter. Next, you have to decide if you want a concave button or a convex button. If you want a convex button, go ahead and click arc, three point arc, click here, then click over here, and then we'll make our arc. We wanna make sure it's tangent there, and then we need to decide how far up our arc is, so we'll click here and here, and we can make it two, and then it, decides the radius for us. We could fill it this now in the sketch or later. I prefer to do it later. So we'll finish our sketch. Then we'll create another revolve, click this profile, then we'll click this axis and we'll say, okay. So now our button is looking really nice. We'll click this edge and we're gonna add a fillet. I'm gonna click G2 curvature and I'm gonna type one. That looks really nice. I'm gonna say, okay. One thing though, when we bring our bezel back, you'll notice that our button is right here. We can fix that by coming to the back and then clicking extrude, clicking the bottom of the button, and then we can just pull that button down. And we can even go to an object. So we'll go say to object and we'll just say the bottom of the bezel. Now let's go up to the top level. And our arcade button is looking pretty cool. So we could put this on a different surface and make lots of them. If you wanted to make a concave button, you would go back and edit this sketch. So we would say edit sketch. And then on this side, we can even make it concave and then just change the revolve. So we'll make another three point arc. And this time we'll start at this top corner. We'll click to here and we'll give it a nice arc. We wanna draw a line going straight across so we can make this arc tangent in the middle. Then we can click the tangent constraint here and here, and those are tangent. 
We can go ahead and make this a construction line. It doesn't matter, but that way we know we don't need that line for anything. And then we'll dimension from here to here. And we'll make that one. Then we finish our sketch. Everything's the same, but if you go back and you edit your revolve, edit feature, we can tell it to use different pieces. So this time, instead of this, we'll use all of these. Just hold command and you can add features, or if you're on a PC, hold control, and we'll say okay. So now you see that we have this concave controller. We'll go ahead and edit this feature. You see we have an error, and we'll edit the feature, and it says that we don't have the edge. So we go ahead and tell it it's this edge, and then once again, it's one, and we'll do G2 curvature and say okay. So now we have this nice concave arcade button. Last thing to do, let's apply some appearances because arcade buttons are shiny. We'll say plastic. And we'll make it glossy red because everybody loves glossy red arcade buttons. Hopefully you can make either a concave or a convex arcade button with this tutorial. Happy gaming.